I'm Jessie Irwin, and I'm one of the writers of the Australian What's It Information Service Movie Project Report. All three members of the report writing team are located in different parts of the country, so my team members and I used three different online collaborative tools to facilitate our discussion and evaluation. Google+, Plus, a social media platform, Google Drive, a collaborative file storage and sharing platform, and Google Groups, a forum creation platform. These three tools have the potential to be scaled up for use in our 25 branch national information service and could provide substantial benefits in collaboration and communication. As all three tools are Google products, using them across our network would require each staff member to use a Google profile. To preserve the separation of work and social environments, staff may be encouraged to create an entirely new Google profile for use when representing the Watson information surface. Whilst working on the movie project, my team made great use of Google+. None of us were active users of Google products prior to the movie project, so we all had to create Google profiles. Because Google Plus wasn't our everyday social service, we didn't use it for daily updates or chats, instead scheduling weekly meetings where we used both text chat and video chat. The Hangouts video chat feature enabled us to have very productive meetings, as we could engage in more effective communication when we could see each other's faces. This productivity could easily translate to the entire 25 branch network as Hangouts supports up to 10 video participants per call and up to 100 viewers, each of whom can access the text chat. Hangouts also offers some very useful collaborative tools, like screen sharing, which can be used to share the specifics of a problem or task, and direct access to a shared Google Drive, which encourages participants in the Hangouts call to interact in collaboratively editing shared documents. Creating a social media presence on Google Plus could do more than just allow us to use the Hangouts video chats, it could be used to promote our library network as well. Updates and news could be posted on a central page for the Watson Information Service, and staff pages could be used to interact with patrons online. The second collaborative tool we used was Google Drive. Users upload files and share them with other people, who can then read the files online or download a copy. You can also use your drive as an online storage space, accessible from anywhere you can log into your Google account. If you create a file using the Google Docs format, either by clicking Create or by converting an existing file to the new format, you can then edit the Google Doc online, with the ability to view the previous edits you've made and to easily roll back to previous versions. What makes this an excellent collaborative tool is the ability to work on a Google Doc simultaneously with the people you've shared it with. As mentioned earlier, Google Hangouts allows you to access Google Drive within the call. During the movie project, my teammates and I used this feature to work on our report whilst discussing our changes. Unfortunately, only Google Docs and other Google file formats can be edited collaboratively. Another great feature is the ability to add comments beside the text on Google Docs. For shared documents, you can choose to receive an email notification whenever your comments receive a reply. Other file types can also be commented on, but these comments are confined to a list at the top of the page. The third tool we tried was Google Groups, which allows users to create a personal forum and invite other Google users to participate. Unfortunately, the movie project group was so small that our communication invariably ended up in emails, Google Hangouts, or in the comments on Google Drive instead. Google Groups has potential to be more useful for the 25 branch network. Creating a forum for library issues and updates, with the ability to use different forum threads for different topics, makes it more focused than Google+, and easier to have lengthy discussions in than Google Drive. Unfortunately, Google Groups is not immediately listed in the drop-down menu that now appears on all Google pages, so finding the forums can be a bit more difficult. Accordingly, effective use of Google Groups within our network would require active promotion amongst staff and encouragement of regular participation. In summary, 
Use of these tools could provide many benefits for our information service, but they would require a strong social media policy and creation of guidelines for how to best use each tool. It would also require tying a lot of our work into the Google ecosystem, which may not be desirable. Using a few of the tools for interlibrary communication may lead to increased communication and collaboration, but any heavy reliance on Google products should be given closer assessment.